Hello again, this time after we have learned how to create a table we would like to add some data now to that table so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can insert table I'm sorry, insert data to, that, to your tables using this syntax now the statement or the keyword in MySQL to insert something in a table add some th or add something to a table is insert so we have insert into, this is what the syntax looks like insert into these two keywords are in capital as you can see and then I specify a table name and then in my parentheses I specify field names you know field 1, field 2, uh, field 3 up to field n how many fields I have or how many fields that I want to uh, add data uh, in and then the word, the keyword value so for those fields I need to have the corresponding values that I'd like to add always remember the corresponding values must be of the right type otherwise must be of the right data type otherwise you will be having exceptions and errors and also must be the same number so you specify 10 fields here you should specify 10 values here also uh, for fields that don't don't, don't accept to be null if you remember when we created the table I said not null not null more than once saying that those values must always have on um, those, those fields must always have values and always remember to add values otherwise you'll be having exceptions now this was again what the syntax looks like insert into table name da 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 fields and values the list of values now let me just go back and connect to my uh, 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 database again so uh, I create a database called teams I believe teams DB rather yes now uh, if I show the tables on this database show tables with a semicolon I can see I have a teams table yes now uh, I know what my uh, teams table lo looks like so I'm going to add some value to it now I'm going to add the first row to the table. If you remember, uh, my table or the, the structure of my table looked like this. It had a team ID, which is an auto increment, not null. It had a team name, Vacha, which is not null. It had team captain, Vacha, which is not null. And it has an establishment date. Notice now that when I actually have this statement to add something I am not using or I'm not adding anything to the first column to the first field which is called team ID why is because auto it's actually auto increment which means it will automatically increment by itself I don't need to add it and I'm using it as we said before as a primary key as a unique key that I can use to retrieve data later on so I only need to have I need only need to update and add team name which has which is something I must add because it's not null again I must add a team captain yes which is not null and then I need to add date so only three values three out of four that one is auto increment going back now without boring you I need to copy this uh, paste it here so I'm adding I'm inserting into teams table these column names give them these values lads united I know, <laughs> I know that's funny but uh, I couldn't come up with something else Lads United with the captain Mark James and establishment date 6th of May 2007 I hit enter and that's been added query is okay so I add another one another record uh, you know new team called bad losers Joe Williams this probably should be Joe, Joe Barton uh, and then that function now from from my my sequel will add the date like right now for, for today today's date like that and then maybe add another one uh, for Londoners, you know, London geezers maybe. Insert into teams table, team name, team captain, establishment date, values, Londoners, Ronnie Shelby, and that date over there. And added, as you can see, I've added now three records, three teams. Now, if I want to have a look at the data, I can use this statement here. Don't worry about this, I'll explain this later. But this select star from teams table will retrieve everything in that table with a semicolon of course and we have a look and we can see that the team ID starts from one and automatically increments and then I have a team name lads united bad losers uh, Londoners three teams and the captain is Mark James for lads united establishment date is that date bad losers captain is Joe Williams 
and that's today's date that's the function what the function now does yeah this function here gives me today's date and that for Londoners Ronnie Shelby and the captain Ronnie Shelby and the establishment date is 21st of December 2000 and now so these bad losers are new in the league and probably they're probably going to create a lot of trouble anyway that's how you add or insert data into your table and how to have a look at what's actually inside it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time